Well, Susan Deegan has resigned from Police Scotland. She was appointed in 2017. Then Justice, Justice Secretary Michael Matheson said she would bring a fresh perspective to the governance of Scottish policing. That fresh perspective means truth, clarity. That's what it means. But obviously she didn't get that far. She's worked tirelessly to ensure the SPA operated effectively, bringing uh, and that public confidence and trust in policing was maintained. Well, it wasn't, was it? We all know that. In truth, however, I'm going to read directly, directly now, so forgive my eyes going away. In truth, however, I have increasingly become convinced that the governance and accountability arrangements for policing in Scotland are fundamentally flawed. Here we go. In structure, culture, and practice. And I conclude, conclude that there is little more I can do to make these arrangements work effectively, she said. I would suggest that the Scottish Government thinks afresh about how the police service is scrutinised and held to account and how, or if, a better separation between politics and policing and indeed between the police service and those who oversee it can be achieved. So what she's saying there is she's saying there's too much interference from politics. We know this. We know this. Um, Yusuf... The Justice Minister in the SNP is a shithouse. He's a coward. He loves pig. And that's all he is. He loves pig. And what I mean by pig, think about that for yourself. He is an utter disgrace to anywhere and anything that's called justice in Scotland. He would be a disgrace in any country with the way he behaves. The fact that he, over, he just dismisses stuff He's not once replied to, co to consistent messages about Davy News Now Scotland. He's not interested. Neither is Stig Nicola Sturgeon. So, what have we got here? When she says structure. Now, the structure of the police, we know, operates overseeing oversight for themselves. We know this. Culture. The culture has been passed on over years. And the fact that Police Scotland became one entity took away the right of each force to be accountable within their force. Now, it's what the authoritarians like to do. You could say it's a totalitarian way of policing. In Scotland, it's not like England, Wales and Ireland. In Scotland, it's a totalitarian culture. And the culture of the chief inspector, is it chief inspectors? The one that we've got in now, the little dwarf, he was, he was made down to... A constable. He was reduced in rank to constable. Amazingly, he was then brought up to be the chief inspector of the whole of Police Scotland. What a shower of shite he is. Three chief constables before him all left or dismissed under spurious circumstances. We don't know about them, but I do. A lot of us do. So we've now got this thing where it's policing. The policing of police in Scotland has reached an epidemic point where it is unlawfully being practised by police arresting people for as little as saying fuck off. Mm. For as little as saying get off me. For as little as saying that. And two blokes standing in the street arguing with each other. A police car pulls up and says to them, if you don't, both don't stop arguing and go, don't be quiet, I'm going to arrest you under breach of the peace, section 38. They are then arrested. What, how is it that people with a bastardised British flag, with a blue line through it, note there's no blue line through the Scottish flag, the Irish flag and the Welsh flag, but just the English. And what have they done? The Scots have followed the same. The Scottish police... Don't trust people who will bastardise the British flag. How many soldiers have died representing that flag for the police to then put it into black and white with a thin blue line through it saying, this is for the sorrow of all our dead officers. You are 174 times more likely to be killed by a terrorist than a policeman is. 
I've sinned this, and I'm sinning it till I, I'll keep sinning it till I blew the face. I'll keep sinning it till the day I die. You are 174 times more likely to die than a, per, a policeman in with a terrorist with a terrorist attack. Think about this. These are big, big things to say. Many, many police officers die going to and from work. They die at the desks. Why? Because the fat slobs, they're not fit anymore. Or they're being put on desk duties. So David's been arrested by this, this gang called Police Scotland. The thin, blue li the thin blue line gang. They're like the mafia, except they don't kill people. En masse. When people go missing in Scotland, it's exactly the same mafia thing. They incarcerate them. And this is happening over and over and over again in Scotland, and it has to be stopped. People are, have to have their freedom. Not freedom to, to blow people up, not freedom to, you know, um, whatever. Just freedom to allow to be, freedom of press, freedom of speech. I can walk out here now and I can shout, fuck off. Some people are going to get interested at me. If the police heard it, they'll arrest me. Like I was nearly arrested when I was videoing that car crash. The police guy tried to get me arrested. He went and spoke to his sergeant. Hey, sergeant, I've got a lot of you. He's filming this crash. Um, what do I do? I'd already told him what he could do was nothing. I was perfectly within my rights to do what I was doing. So then when he came back, he was going to then go and go over to the two people who had the crash and say, are you feeling fear, alarm and stress? Good, I'll go and arrest me. That would have been coercion. That's what the police do. They coerce people. People who don't know anything about fear, alarm, distress, section 38. When they are questioned as witnesses, the police put them thoughts in their mind. People have no issues. People don't want other people arrested unless they're actually really being cruel or nasty or bad. Or they're really in fear of their life or something. Most people don't want nothing to do with the police. But I'm telling you now, this situation we have in police Scotland, this is just another rung on the ladder where somebody's jumped off. She knows she cannot get any further on with the culture of the police force. It is rabid. It is rancid. It is corrupt to the core. And this is why people like this jump ship. So what you've got to understand here, I know I'm gabbing, I know I'm gabbing, but I want these sort of things explained in Scotland. I don't want Scotland to become such a nasty place as it is now that you can't go out and be, be, be loud, you know. You can't go out and have a party, you know, unless you get, if you do, and it's a bit loud, you get arrested for a breach of the peace. Breach of the peace in the in Scotland is the most abused and unlawful section that the police use to arrest people with. You think about it. Freedom of Information Act, or SARS. Ask the police, Scotland, how many arrests were made in the five years previous to today to five years ago? Under Section 38, Breach of the Peace. You will get bloody thousands of Hits replies to that from the police, but they don't want you to know this. The police statistics on www.gov for Scotland, look in there, you'll see loads of stuff. But Police Scotland, a shower of shite. You see, this is what happens. This person, what's her name? Susan Deegan resigns. How many police do you hear resigning in Police Scotland? Officers, constables, sergeants, they don't. Because they want this, they want the pension. They want the pension at an early age. They want to leave it at an early age, get the pension and go for another job. That's what they do. They don't care about your rights. They don't care about the law. They are unlawful in the, in the, in the way they abuse rights, human rights and sections that they are supposed to use as law. When somebody can be arrested for standing there, like me looking at you now, talking to a camera, like it was when I was arrested, and gets a, a section 38 placed on them. Eh? Section 38 because I'm on a camera. Davy, News now Scotland. Section 38. He's re-arrested again for stalking. Davy isn't stalking anybody. He never would. Stalking. This is the police force in the Scotland, Police Scotland, that turns round and says. You can't walk around like that. That's breach of the peace. That's what he was arrested for. 
You can't walk around like that. That's breach of the peace. Meaning you can't walk anywhere in Scotland because that is breach of the peace. That is on YouTube. That Them are the exact words, almost the exact words that she says. You can't be arrested. That's breach of the peace. That, what was it? No, you, you can't walk around like that. That's breach of the peace. Is that a Freudian slip? No. That's what they actually think. They don't want you to think that they know that. Uh, the, 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 they don't want you to know that when they walk around us, they just want to arrest us for breach of the peace. That came out loud and clear when that stupid woman said, you can't walk around. That's breach of the peace. Blazing sunshine, dark of night. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter at all. Davy, legally, you broke no laws. But the police have broken laws by arresting you over malicious accusations. What do I know about that? I know about that as well, malicious accusations. But after, after, after the court date, after my trial, it'll all come out. The maliciousness of Police Scotland. The immaturity of Police Scotland. The lack of spine in the Chief Constable Inspector. That little dwarf. No offence to dwarves, by the way. Why is he in charge? Why? Police Scotland. Why? Why is Police Scotland the, the scourge of the United Kingdom? Why is it that Police Scotland address you, uh, arrest you for giving them a funny look? A policeman. Why would you get arrested if a policeman comes up to you and said, excuse me, what are you doing? You turn around and say, fuck all to do with you. You get arrested for saying fuck all. Now, we know we're going to turn around and people are going to say, you can say that. It's okay. No, not when you're arrested. It isn't okay. But that's how bad it is. When you turn around and say to a policeman, don't fucking touch me. You're arrested. Why? Breach of the peace. Anybody around you? They don't use the breach of the peace as is meant by law. They invent something else to get you on breach of the peace. That is the way Police Scotland works. In fact, that is the way most police work in the UK. But in Scotland, it is as it is it is rampant. You're not giving me your what's your name? I'm not telling you. I want to know your name. What you're doing? It's got fuck all the tooth. You worry about doing? You're right. You're arrested. You're nicked. And that's how bad they are. So what I'm saying is, you've heard about it here. The structure, the culture and policing, this woman resigned because she knows how bad it is. She knows how bad it is. Thank me, teacher, by the way. It says, oh, let's have a look. There we go, politics. It's really like this. And that's the man behind the counter there, with the, uh, the the wolf behind the counter with the sheep's face talking, saying, this is this, this is it. <laughs> anyway, I didn't realise I was going to talk for 30 minutes, but this is the situation in Police Scotland. It is getting dangerous up here now. Davy's been arrested again today. This woman jumped ship. This is what's happening. Davy's, you know, he's, he's, in, he's arrested. What for? He's arrested for stalking. Again, abuse of law, abuse of that privilege that they've got with their thin blue line shite. That's all I'm going to say now. I've said enough. I've said two things today, I think. It's just enough. Anyway, I can't wait to get my stuff back. I'm waiting for that to come back, actually, because nothing was found on the seized um, items. So it's no longer um, needed for evidence. Nothing was on it. <laughs> nothing at all was found by the crime unit on my items. They were expecting all sorts to be on it. Nothing. Nothing. So I'll put in a request anyway to get it back so I can start getting out and taking pictures again and get my GoPro back so I can start using my life and being in my life the way I want it. So there we go. Our first one. Round, round one to me. There was no evidential value of anything on my items that were seized when I was arrested. Nothing. But I'm going in next week to uh, check the data that they've downloaded anyway, just to be on the safe side. So anyway, if you come up to Scotland, be very wary of the police. Be very wary of the police because they'll nick you as soon as look at you. And then you will get lost in the system. Like, you know, when the police Scotland search a seven-year-old child for drugs. 
yeah, you heard that right, a seven-year-old child searched for drugs in Scotland. Would that happen anywhere else? I really do not think so. In Scotland? Any police force that will put out in their minds under the officers' minds you can search a seven-year-old for drugs. This was just a kid. It's just a kid amongst other kids. Search them for drugs. That's how warped Police Scotland is. Don't give me any shit about you, you just being unnatural. You're just being nasty to the police. Any police collection of policemen, Police Scotland, for example, that search seven-year-old kids for drugs is warped. From the top to the person who did the search. From Chief Constable right down to the person who did the search. Warped. Utterly warped. Now I'm going to go and wash my eyes, Lucky.